In this video on this beautiful day we are taking our Australian Ford to Birmingham. Why are we going to Birmingham? Plains. Plains. Yeah, we're going to look <laughs> at plains. So we're swapping this beautiful gorgeous countryside for um, the industrial wastelands of Birmingham. Although um, we're actually going quite close to the NEC and with that in mind later in this video we're going to do a ticket announcement for who has won our uh, giveaway tickets uh -huh. for the NEC Classic Very Motor clever. Show. <laughs> so that will come later in the video. Stay tuned. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've got quite a long way to go. So uh, should we go? Let's go. Plans. Plans. So a quick stop. Uh, sorry, Betty is quite wide. Yeah, she is. Yeah, a quick stop for breakfast along the way. And then we will head to Birmingham. And uh, our overall aim today is to see an Airbus A380. Yes, it is, because we've not seen one. We've seen a 350, haven't we? I we've think seen a 350. Oh, yeah, no, we've seen the Beluga. And 777s as well, yes, I think, yeah. down at Heathrow. But we've never seen a 380 in flight, so uh, today's the day. There is one due in about 20 to 12. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, off again at 20 it's to now, 2, I think. Oh, that's the wrong time. <laughs> I've got to change Betty's clock. She's still on um, British summertime, which we are no longer on. The holy grail of plane that we want to go and see is uh, G-LSAI, which is a Jet 2 7572 that's 37 years old and is currently the not oldest passenger Definitely plane not in the UK. And Threads has been very kind and enlightened me as to what's been going on because it's been oh. doing some strange manoeuvres. OK, well, why don't you hold that and carry on? You have to move your hand. And... Oh, yes, move hand. Sorry. We, we better get on our way, otherwise we're going to miss the plane. That would not do at all. <laughs> that we're not going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so G-LSAI is a 37-year-old 7572 and she usually is based in Manchester but she moved from Manchester to Liverpool and then Liverpool to Gatwick and I was like, what is this? Is this the end? Because they are actually sadly being decommissioned in the not too distant future. Um, but it turns out she may have been carrying, uh, what's it called, Brighton and Hove Albion football team. Yes, isn't your dad a supporter of them? Uh, my mum and dad live near Brighton, so yeah, yeah. They, they do like the local team. Um, but actually, apparently she is actually going to come out of service beginning of January. Yeah. So that would be one to see. They are phasing out their 757 fleet because they do have a 24-year-old one, uh, a 32-year-old one. There is another one, and I can't think how old it is. I think they're being replaced with um, a, the Airbuses rather than the Boeings, which is interesting. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, because they have got a lot of 737s, haven't they? They have. 737-8. Um, can I just explain, though, this is turning into complete plain geekery. <laughs> uh, we're putting this on the main Hubnet channel and justifying it because we're having an outing in Betty. Betty, uh, Ford Fairmont AU here, built in Australia, lived in New Zealand. Hasn't been on the channel much this year. We haven't been doing a fat lot with her. And in truth, she's only done 3,000 miles since her MOT in April. Uh, Desmond. The Perodua Canari has been um, doing the most miles on the fleet uh, this summer. So um, we thought it would be a nice chance for Betty to stretch her legs. And also, we are, are child free yourself? for the week. Where are you? So there you are. we thought we'd go and do some adult things and look at planes. Yay! <laughs> quality, quality time. Quality time. He knows how to do romance, folks. Just as we've stopped for breakfast, Betty is on 339,000 kilometers. Well done, Betty. Onwards. Uh, well, here we are enjoying, enjoying? Enjoying, no, not not enjoying. enjoying. Uh, the M6 doing M6 things. We seem to have lost the sunshine. We should have just stayed at home, dear. No, we're going to look at planes. Have some schoolboys waving at cars on the bridge, hopefully not doing anything else. But uh, yeah, quite miserable. And we've had a rubbish run over, so we've missed Already, we have missed the A380 coming in. Uh, that was probably about 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago. Yes, but hopefully we will still get there in time for it to go out. Oh. Takeoff is the one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So hopefully yes. we'll still be all right. So we're heading to Sheldon Country Park, which uh, should give us uh, a good view of what's going on. So fingers crossed. Right, we have arrived at Sheldon Country Park. Uh, the airport is just the other side of these trees. So, well, and a hill. <laughs> and a hill. Uh, oh, excitement. No, it's just a van driving around the airport access road. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're waiting to catch a glimpse of a plane in the air. We're still some time off from our Airbus A380, but uh, yeah, exciting. We have seen an easy jet plane. Sorry, we weren't quick enough for the camera. This one, he just got out of the car, Plen. I really just, no, they're not all. Three. That, no one else is coming. 
Captain, as he's coming, what we got, what we got? As long as you haven't got your flight radar right already. There we go, another easy jet. A320, do we think? It looks like a tiny little thing. So, there we go. So, we're trying to get on that trajectory. Path curves around ahead of us. Let's flip over. There we go. Sheldon Country Park. Now, go through here. And see what we can find. Thanks. Thanks. zooming once we actually sit down but there's quite a lot of people here the spotters have gathered already I think so uh, there is the end of the airport it's going to Larnaca that one okay have fun in Larnaca six years old that one right this is definitely going to need all my zoom to try and get on hang on a second uh, I am not Jerry see what that is it's a yeah it's a plane it's a light at the moment yeah Looks right. like it's barely moving. That's coming in. Oh, why am I not finding that one? Oh, here it is. I think, oh, I've just come from one of our favourite places. Mallorca? Yeah. Is that a Tui? Tui 7378. Look, there's no wall. You just, you just start, you start to keep running a company and all of a sudden it's getting to yeah, can't quite see the uh, landing zone, <coughs> unfortunately. Good view of the airport, though. Yeah, we we'll carry on round. We might get better yet. The reason people are gathered over here, you know, those thrust reverses kicking in. Going to Guernsey. Ah, turbo prop action. Little ATR off to Guernsey. I think there may be more next. Oh, that's so gentle. Oh, I need to work on my transitions. Is that incoming as well? Yep. Over there. Uh, incoming is there, there we are. What have we got coming in? That is... Out the gloom. That's a 737. It is from Malaga. Oh, somewhere oh. else. We like. <laughs> We've never actually been to Malaga, but it's on our wish list. We've been to Granada. Yeah, there we go. I'm maxed out on Zoom. Now as good as Jerry, old big jet. Leave it. Uh! <laughs> Stop. There is our arrival from Malaga. Did you say? Yes. Ryanair. Yes. I think so. It's head on at the moment, so it's hard, quite hard to tell. Oh, yep, that's our uh, friends at Ryder. Okay, so there's a small Lovely. plane just joining the runway, and I'm not sure what it is. Just spotted uh, 747 over in the cargo the side. The super king. Oh, yeah. Where is he? Up here. He's tiny. I've got a. He is very tiny. Where is he? I think he's going to Stansted. Oh, there he is. Now we're a big fan of planes in the air, but we're also big fans of plane crashes. We're you are. About those. <laughs> we yeah, are. You like Mentor just as much as I do. Okay, maybe a bit of Mentor. Yeah, I've got the t-shirt and everything. Oh, you didn't wear your t-shirt today? No, it was a bit of an error, wasn't it? Just while we're waiting, we are going to announce the winners. Ooh. We got two winners. We ended up with um, two people being able to win a pair of tickets uh, for the NEC. Uh, and my winners are Adrian Bendall and Simon Edwards. So congratulations, if that's you. So what do they do now? Do you, are you going to email them back? Uh, they need to, uh, yeah, I will email them. Okay. Uh, just Excellent. to confirm everything. But yep. uh, yeah, well done. If you um, are still coming to the show, haven't got your tickets yet, don't forget Hubnut 2 as a discount code and gets you two pounds off per ticket mm -hmm. and, and we'll, we'll be both be there at various times before the show as to how to avoid the parking costs yeah 
yeah, 20 quid parking, no thanks. Get the train, much better idea. Anyway, uh, we shall settle in. For the next one, we're getting confused because there's noises, <laughs> but there's a train line as well. We so are due in arrival in about planes, five Planes, trains minutes. and automobiles today. Mm, absolutely. Mm. A KLM Embraer coming in now. And one thing you can just Eastern about see. Embraer. I'll see Eastern Embraer, so I do apologize. Uh, you can see how lumpy the runway is. It is not flat at all. There's some uh, very thrilling footage online of um, crosswind landings here at Birmingham. And uh, it must be difficult to land on such an undulating runway. We fortunately did not experience one. We came close, didn't we? At Gatwick, we had the worst one, didn't we? <laughs> oh no, when we came into Birmingham that one time, that was exciting. When we had a go around, full on toga. Oh, yes, I forgot that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Embraer E170, is it? Mm -hmm. That one as well, that one's cute. something a bit different. Coming in, next one's coming in. It's a Vueling, Vueling, how are you meant to say it? Uh, A320. We were on one not that long ago. We were when we went to Spain where it was actually hot. Should we do the noises of an, uh, an A320? Versus Body. Seven. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> the dog bark. Yeah. I get the reverses. Sorry. That's all right. Only gentle reverses on that one. Oh. I was giving it a scandy flick there. There we go. We do like a uh, three twenty. I'm torn. Are you really? Yeah. Genuine? Because I love the A320 noise, but in flight they're quieter. Whereas the 737, you definitely know you're on a plane. You definitely know you're on a plane, it's true. But is, is quiet not a good thing? I know there's noisier planes, but I don't object mm. to the 737. No, no. I, I, I like a 320. Right, Air Lingus A320 just taking off. I'll uh, take off for a while. Gear's Maybe in. Gear. Oh no! <laughs> the selfie stick failed. Oh, we are so professional. Don't buy cheap selfie sticks, folks. <laughs> Fail at the absolute peak moment. <laughs> So we're still waiting. Uh, the uh, 1340 departure has been delayed till 1405, mm -hmm. but patience, okay. patience. It, it's not quite the same as Heathrow. There's just not the constant stream no, of traffic it's here. No, every 90 is seconds at Heathrow. Yeah, well, it's madness. Like but uh, then this is generally a bit more relaxing than Myrtle Avenue at Heathrow, which is yeah. chaos, really. But uh, yeah. I do just, feel for the residents there. Yes, must be quite annoying. At least this is a public park and nobody's doing anything yeah. anyhow. Yeah, it's a lovely spot. Mm. Oh, this is the Ryanair, isn't it? This is the Ryanair 737. Yep. 16 years old, I think. Coming racing towards us, that's mildly startling. And it's heading to Paris. Orly, isn't it? Is it Orly or is it Wassy? Not Charles de Gaulle, anyway. Oh. So this is a minimal TUI. We say minimal because this hasn't got the iconic TUI blue livery. No. It's just got the smile icon and the oh, slogan. Oh, rotating so early. Yeah. He started right at the top of the runway. Don't stare at the <gasps> Something else is moving. I scared the 
We're getting excited because we're yeah, definitely yeah. getting Come towards A380 time. Oh, yeah. I'll get envious here and somebody's got their binoculars. Yeah, I left mine at home. All fool me. Oh, that, was, uh, that was a late rotate. Wow. I wasn't quite expecting that one. I, 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 no, I, that I, was got recording. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> We are just waiting. It, the transponder is activated. The A380 is awake. So hopefully it will be out very, very soon. It is the reason we've driven like 120 <laughs> odd miles or something. Like normal people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great excitement. There she is. Where she is? I've lost her. There she is. There, right there. You can't miss oh, yeah. her. She's there. We go, 380 on the move. Uh, the largest passenger jet serving in the UK now because we don't believe there are any 747s left. Lufthansa During, were flying. Then. Yeah. BA in were. the UK. Yeah, yeah. I think there's some some doing transatlantic. I think KLM have still got 747s as well, but of course yeah. they they're the Netherlands. They wouldn't use them to come here. Well, no. So 747s as cargo jets, all we're left with. Who'd have thought when? Um, uh, I flew back into the UK and we were both down at Heathrow for our grand reunion. We saw all those 747s parts of the British Airways one. Mm. We saw some of them landing. Little did we know, that was it. Oh, this is really exciting. You're really excited. <laughs> so A380 is a double-decker, four engines. And a mightily impressive beast. Didn't we look at the size of the tanks? Isn't it something insanely ridiculous that made you think Betty's actually quite fuel economical. Yeah, I think we worked out that um, <laughs> the fuel tank capacity is more on an Airbus 380 than all the fuel Betty's ever drunk. <laughs> By a long shot though mm. it was, I remember. <laughs> By the way, there's a Jet 2 coming in from Mahon. Oh, a little tiddler. Yes. Where well, is Mahon? We haven't found out yet. Comparatively have tiddly. And again, it's the, uh, what is with all these minimal liveries? We like dramatic yeah, yeah. stuff. So there's our latest one in, and there, look at that, that's the 737 um, against the uh, 380. So 737 sneaking ahead, I think the 737 can use an intersect takeoff. So that is the size difference, it is considerable, and this is why we're so excited, we've never seen a 380 takeoff. Look at that for a shot. There goes the cheeky run out. Enjoying the later rotations very much. Yeah, late rotations are fun. Now oh, where's the 380 doing? Here it is. Just imagine how much fuel it's using just getting to the runway. There we go, line up and wait or turn and burn. We shall find out shortly. Gosh, we waited a long time for this. Oh, it's coming. Silent reverence. <laughs> this is terrifying. Look at the size of it. Rotate.
Not now, Tim. That was impressive, dear. I was. You enjoyed that one? I did. That was good. Uh, should we come back tomorrow and watch the next one? Yep, okay. <laughs> Bye, 380. Off to Dubai. Look at it slowly being consumed by the clouds. Yeah, that's amazing. Autofocus not enjoying that. Oh, well, making our way back to the car. There's another plane taking off, though. Ooh. Let's see if we can see, we can see it. it. We will see it. There he is. Oh look! Hey. It's another Ryanair. Another Ryanair 737. <laughs> 737. <laughs> oh, 737. But yeah, that's been a. Uh, it's been cold, but it's been a, a very pleasant uh, experience. But uh, we've driven 150 miles to be here today in Betty. So at least <laughs> we've got some miles on Betty, uh, which is good. Uh, and now we're going to go home again. But yeah, so a huge thanks to everyone who took part in the competition, the answer to the competition. I should have, I didn't mention the answer. It was Desmond, wasn't it? was it? Desmond. I was sitting in Desmond. I was filming with Bella that day. The Perodua Canari, in case it was Yeah, Desmond. but I was sat in Desmond, the Perodua Canari. So well done to everyone who got that right, who noticed I was being a bit sneaky. And uh, yeah, don't forget, hope not to... Uh, on the discount code, if you want to come to the show, which is not very far away from here, in... Uh, about a week's time Just now. Over a week, this isn't comes it? Yeah, yeah, crikey. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.